Greetings everyone, and welcome to my coin collection. Today's coins are part of my collection of formerly circulating coins from the nation of Portugal. Before adopting the Euro on the 1st of January 1999, the Portuguese Escudo, subdivided into 100 centavos, was the currency of Portugal. The Escudo, which translates into English as shield, had been the currency since 1911, when it replaced the previous currency, the real. It was officially removed from circulation on the 28th of February 2002. As with most of the pre-Euro coins in my collection, one of the problems countries had to confront was the impact of inflation. While the smallest value in my collection is 10 centavos, there had initially been lower denomination coins. The 1 centavos was last minted in 1922, the 2 in 1921, and the 5 in 1927. There was even a 4 centavos coin, minted in 1917 and 1919. The first coin is from the series minted between 1942 and 1969. It is bronze, and on the reverse we see the denomination at the top, in Roman numerals, X, 10 centavos, above a pair of olive branches. Underneath the olive branch on the right-hand side, in tiny lettering, is the signature of the engraver, M. Norte. The obverse features five escutcheons, or shields, forming the shape of a cross, each one displaying five bezants. The original bezants were the gold coins produced by the government of the Byzantine Empire, but the ones on the Portuguese coat of arms are traditionally silver. The date of mintage, 1968, is at the bottom. The second 10 centavos coin, from the series between 1969 and 1979, is almost the same design, however made of aluminium and smaller. Instead of Roman numerals, we see the Arabic numerals for 10. Like most of the coins in this collection, the Portuguese coat of arms features on the obverse. Around the edge are the words Republica Portuguesa and the year of mintage at the bottom, this time 1972. The 20 centavos from the 1942 to 1969 series is largely the same as the 10 centavos, but with two X's, the Roman numeral for 20. It is also made of bronze. The obverse continues to feature the coat of arms with the date of mintage, here it is 1966. It is interesting to note that the U's look more like V's. As with the previous coin, this one from the series minted between 1969 and 1974 is primarily different because of the use of Arabic rather than Roman numerals on the 20 centavos coin. It is made from bronze. The coat of arms that features on the obverse has been the Portuguese coat of arms since 1481. It was originally the coat of arms of the royal household and over time that transferred to the country as a whole. This coin was minted in 1970. This 50 centavos is from the series minted between 1927 and 1968. This time, the reverse features the full Portuguese coat of arms, with laurel branches surrounding the shield and two ribbons. One would be red, the other green. The denomination is at the bottom. On the obverse is an allegorical representation of the nation as a woman. This time, the date of mintage appears after the country name, 1947 in this case while at the bottom is the signature of the engraver. It is made from copper nickel. This second 50 centavos is from the 1969 to 1979 series. The reverse fits the pattern of the 10 and 20 centavos coins from the same period, Arabic rather than Roman numerals, except that there are heads of wheat rather than olive branches at the base of the coin. On the obverse, we find the simplified coat of arms once again, if this was coloured, the background would be white, the escutcheons blue, and the bezants silver. This coin was minted in 1974 and again made of bronze. The oldest of the coins in this collection is the one escudo, as you might guess from how worn it is. It is from the series minted between 1927 and 1968 and again features the full coat of arms on the reverse. Again, the obverse has the bust of liberty, allegorically representing Portugal, with the year of mintage 1928 after the country name. It is so worn that it is hard to make out any details on liberty. However, you can still just see the engraver's signature at the bottom. 
Like the 50 centavos from the 1969 to 1979 series, this one Escudo coin features ears of wheat at the base of the reverse, below the denomination. Once again, it is made from bronze. This coin is from the final year of mintage of this series, 1979. It's much easier to tell that the escutcheons are shield on shields on these larger coins. This third one Escudo coin is from the second to last series of Escudos, minted between 1981 and 1986. The reverse exclusively features the denomination and it is made from nickel brass. The obverse features a version of the coat of arms somewhere between the two we have seen on previous coins. Around the edge of the shield we can see seven triple-towered castles, which would be golden if coloured. It was from the first year of minting in 1981. My fourth Juan Escudo coin variant is from the series minted between 1986 and 2001. On the reverse, above the denomination, is a representation of a stained glass window. It is made from nickel brass. To the left of the denomination is the engraver's signature. On the obverse, we see another version of the coat of arms, this time with a knot above it representing Portugal's maritime heritage. The country name this time goes around the base of the coin with the year of mintage, 1996, above and to the left. Instead of a two escudos coin, Portugal tended to release coins worth two escudos 50 centavos. This time, the coat of arms is on the reverse of the coin, along with the denomination. It is not easy to see, but the obverse and reverse designer's names are on the left and right edges of the coin respectively. It is made from copper nickel. This one is from the series minted between 1963 and 1985, and on the obverse, along with the country name and the year of mintage, 1984, we see a type of sailing ship known as a caravel, used by the Portuguese for long voyages during the Age of Exploration. The five Escudos coin is from the same series as the 250, minted between 1963 and 1986, and the reverse features largely the same design, including the placement of the designer's names, apart from the denomination. Again, it is copper nickel. Once again, the obverse features a Latin caravel, comparatively light and manoeuvrable for its size. This example was minted in 1984. This second five escudos is again from the final series and made of nickel brass. Here the reverse has the denomination and another variant of stained glass window design. Once more, the designer's signature is on the left and the Lisbon mint mark on the right. The obverse features the slightly more complex coat of arms with the country name around the bottom part of the coin and the year of mintage, 1998, in the top left. The 10 Escudos coin is from the series minted between 1969 and 1974. It is a copper nickel clad nickel coin with the denomination at the bottom below the coat of arms along with four seven pointed stars. On the obverse, we see the caravel once more. This time, the year of mintage is 1972. The final nickel brass series from 1986 to 2001 is the source of this second 10 Escudos coin. The reverse featuring yet another stained glass window design above the denomination with the designer's signature and mint mark as before. If the obverse were coloured, the bar around the shield on which the golden castles sit would be red. This time, the mintage is from 1998. One of the things that makes the 20 Escudos coin interesting is that it is a round coin with a nonagon inset. From the final series produced between 1986 and 2001, the coat of arms, denomination, country, name and year of mintage, 1988, are all on this side, as is the designer name and the Lisbon mint mark. On the reverse, we see a nautical compass with the Order of Christ Cross on the right hand, eastern side of the coin. It is made of copper nickel. The penultimate coin in this collection of coins is a 25 Escudos from the series produced between 1980 and 1986. On the obverse we find the country name above the coat of arms and the number 25 with the denomination below. The reverse features a laureate head facing left with the words Libertade and Democracia, Liberty and Democracy. 
The date, 1981, is to the left, with the designer's signature at the base. The final coin is a 100 escudos coin, from the mintage between 1989 and 2001. It is bimetallic, with an aluminium bronze centre and a copper nickel ring. The obverse features the coat of arms above the denomination in the centre, with the country name around the outside, and the mintage date, 1991, at the base. On the reverse is Pedro Nunez, a Portuguese mathematician, cosmographer and professor, facing left, holding a globe. Around the edge is the word Europa, with the letters separated by the 12 stars of Europe in pairs. The designer's name is between the P and the A, while the Lisbon mint mark is between the E and the U. As always, I find it interesting to see the elements that countries choose to include on their coins. Given the history Portugal has of maritime discovery and exploration, it was not entirely surprising to see a lot of things connected to that history on its coins. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these coins with me. If you have, please like the video and leave a comment down below. You might also consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss any of the upcoming coins in my collection.